screen. There we are. Alive and well. Screen check, screen check. Let's do it. Social media advertising and search advertising. What's the difference between the two? And how do you not make the most common mistakes of people that do one versus just the other? Let's talk about those differences and how they create value for the clients. One of my friends is doing several hundred thousand dollars a month with his digital agency. He's taken Tristan and I out to dinner multiple times. And what did he say about social media agencies? That they waste their time. They're always making new content. They're always chasing new tricks. And basically, they're, they're pulling clients along. It's not worth as much time. It's not as profitable. And thus, he laughs at them because social media agencies typically hold on to clients for only three months. Why is that? So search agencies, they hold on to clients for a year or even two years. Why is that? Oh, you're asking me legitimately. So, um, well, there's a couple of things. One, expectations are hard to be met because you're either trapped into a certain amount of posts or certain pieces of content, which then are still going to be up to the algorithm, the news feed to measure that value according to the engagement of audiences. So you're not only trapped by delivering a bunch of content that's going to be hard to be original because most clients don't make content, but then you're putting it onto a place where people are going to scroll and have a good time, not where people are going to search to get a question answered. And so it's a double uphill battle. Mm -hmm. And so pleasing <clears throat> the client from the beginning is going to be very, very, very hard. And how are we supposed to please the client? By getting them results and making the money. By getting them patience and revenue and sales. So social media managers and agencies and freelancers fail for the main reason that they're not focusing on the business result. They're focusing on the number of tweets they make. They're focusing on how many posts they have, focusing on the number of Instagram followers. How long do you think a client's going to keep you if you are not delivering revenue? Well, I mean, that's why most social media agencies only make it three months. Yeah, that's the key thing days. to understand. So if you do social media, do not make this fundamental mistake, which could be the title of this YouTube video. The way you do this properly, even if social media is your expertise and you're scared of running Google ads or Google My Business or Shopify or all these other areas, is you track the results all the way through to the sale. So if you drive to the homepage, don't just track how many people visited the homepage. Track how many phone calls you got, how many people fill out, fill out a form, how many people bought. So you must integrate search. You must integrate other channels like email. However people are buying from your client, you must integrate those particular components. And that might mean you have to learn components of digital plumbing, which is tracking. Because most clients, if they're local businesses, their website is garbage. They mm -hmm. don't get any traffic to it. They're, they don't have thank you pages for landing pages. So you can't easily measure when people have filled out a form because you got to pixel it on Google somehow, track that conversion. And most importantly, if you're doing social media advertising or creative or influencer or video or whatever, you know, graphics design or Canva, you're probably not running Google ads. Why is that so important? Well, because Google ads are more intent based. So people are, if, especially if you work with local service businesses. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's more intentional than entertaining. People are actually looking to have answers solved. And if mm -hmm. they're looking to have answers solved, they're looking to have a problem solved. Yeah. Versus social media, people go there to avoid their problems. Yeah. And thus, Facebook traffic is worth 6 $7 per thousand impressions. Google traffic is worth $100. So a Google keyword search can be worth anywhere from a dollar to even $500 for mesothelioma. Mm. And things like, there's a lot of terms that are consistently worth over $100 per click. Not per conversion, not per call, per click on Google because the intent is so much stronger. When someone goes into Google and they type in broken toilet emergency plumber or they type in used car or you know Toyota Prius resale value, when there's commercial intent, when people are looking to hire or to buy or to shop, they're going to Google. Some of it's inside Amazon. You can run ins inside there too. That's a version of search. But you must master how to run ads against intent where someone's actually looking for something. If you do social media, you're looking to distract them, to entertain them, to try to get them to 
stop after you know the news feed and and look at what you're doing come to a landing page and i totally get you need to do things that are interesting you need to try to be cutting edge and take advantage of the latest things that are occurring in the world of social media but if you spend all your time trying to be cool and clever guess what you're not doing you're not focusing on driving results revenue for the client not how many posts not how many clicks not how many impressions not how much money you spent but real sales that you can drive and thus Running ads on Google is completely different in running ads on Facebook. Why is that so different? Well, not just because of the intent, which we keep like circling around and, and like being like super clear about is that, that the intent is different, but the ads are based off of what people are searching for. Mm -hmm. They're not based off of the entertainment factor. They're based off keywords. For example, somebody searching for migraine, how to get rid mm -hmm. of a migraine mm -hmm. is totally different than someone scrolling on social media through their yeah. timeline. Like there, there's a difference between interruption and somebody being intentional. Well, so talk the about ad, the ad formats. Well, the ad format is still like the same when you go from the structure from the account level down into the ad set level or ad group level and then into the ads themselves. But whether the, instead of the ads being a, a creative, mm -hmm. they're more, they're keywords. Mm -hmm. So it's all, uh, it's not all text driven because you're still YouTube. There's still video. There's mm -hmm. still display ads, yeah. but it's based off keywords that Google is tracking and pushing people into versus Facebook. It's about interrupting that timeline, like yeah. you said. So when you go to change out copy and change out creative, it's a lot more measurable on mm -hmm. Google than it is on Facebook because on Facebook, you could be looking at all of these different mm -hmm. factors like, oh, let's use a, a blue picture instead mm -hmm. of a red picture like yeah. i mean does that like really make a bigger difference than whether somebody has an actual a migraine or they mm -hmm. have like soreness in their neck yeah. like clearly one is very more intentional than the other and so we're ready to collect their money and so tristan you've run a ton of facebook ads and you've run some google ads what do you see as the big shocker for other people that do social media and now they want to get into google ads like the different ad formats being different well you should definitely get into google ads sooner because your search can be driven by your social and vice versa. So your search and what you get from the keyword research that you do from the successful ads can determine everything that you do on your social media campaigns, which are gonna be less expensive reach and brand awareness for the same thing. So if you find, say you run the migraine and headache um, ads or neck pain and low back pain ads mm -hmm. on Google, whichever one of those performs the best, you need to double down on into social yeah. versus the other way around. So like if you started with search, then you would actually have more data and you'd have better data to go into social with a better game plan. And so when you drive sales, that's how the client's going to keep you. I would recommend starting with search and starting with remarketing in search, even if you specialize in social media. And the differences are huge. Think about all the things that people can search for. They're searching inside maps. They're searching inside websites. YouTube has a search box. They're searching on Google. They're searching inside the Google app, the Google website. There's different searches for information versus services versus songs or, you know, when did a movie come out? Who are the actors in that movie? And because of all those different nuances, angles of that search, when you run a Google search ad, which is 80% of Google's revenue, Facebook has a search box too, but there's no searches that occur in there. Did you know that? Yeah, nobody ever my buddy, uses it. My buddy Alex Schultz runs a growth for Facebook. He's one of uh, Zuckerberg's right-hand hand men, and it's all navigational. It's typing in people's names. It's not searching for best pizza in Las Vegas. And thus, when you're a social media marketer and you wanna learn search, you're gonna learn have to, how to write copy and you have a certain number of characters for each line. You have things like site links. You have local extensions. You have to write different variations of copy. You don't do variations of copy on Facebook. You can kind of through split testing, but not really, it doesn't matter. On Google, it absolutely matters. You're also looking at the combination of the keyword intent to the ad copy that you're running to the landing page. You can rotate through different landing pages. You're not gonna do that kind of thing on Facebook. It really doesn't make any sense. The money is in search, and you're gonna use social like Tristan talked about to be able to warm up those users so that if they search, they're gonna favor your client, and even better, if you can intercept that need before they even get to the super expensive search results, maybe you will have 
saved yourself from having to spend a hundred bucks a click when you got a bunch of little touches along the way because you occupied their attention. So that, my friends, is search and social. If you do search engine marketing, whether it's on the paid side or organic, which is called SEO, learn the social side. If you do social media marketing, you absolutely need to learn search because that's how you drive ROI. And if you're, run, if you're doing analytics on the website to see what happens, odds are you're using Google Analytics. And guess what's integrated inside Google Analytics? Google Ads. That's right. Any final words? I would just remember that they both feed each other. One of the stories or one of the analogies that we use with our clients is that imagine them and their business are here. They can take multiple paths. Customers can take multiple paths to get to them. So they could go find them through search or they could get discovered uh, not um, through social is what I meant to say. They can see them on the timeline. Their posts can get shared because they're putting output, output, output. And that can be all about their business. And they could run ads and it can be a really strong connection here. But their business has a direct tie to them as well through search, which are the keyword terms, the, the services that they provide, what, peop, what they actually do for people. And thus it creates a big wheel, creates like a flywheel and they work together. But it is more important to understand the exact intent of your customers. And so if you're not starting with search, you're almost shooting yourself in the foot, which is something that I did and made a mistake of because you're always going to be optimizing for the suboptimal activity meaning you're always going to be trying to make something that's already broken be perfect and it's never going to happen. So you could start with start with search so that way you can amplify in, in uh, social. If you like what we're saying, hit subscribe. We would love to hear feedback. Where are you in terms of learning how to do Google AdWords? How are you driving results measurably for your clients? Tristan and I would love to hear from you. Hit subscribe. This is the Digital CEO channel. We'll see you in the next episode. See you in the next one.